Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Linda Gregg and appears in A Book of Luminous Things, an international anthology of poetry edited by Cezla Milos, published by Harvest Books in 1998. Uh, this poem is entitled, A Dark Thing Inside the Day. So many want to be lifted by song and dancing, and this morning it is easy to understand. I write in the sound of chirping birds hidden in the almond trees, the almonds still green and thriving in the foliage. Up the street a man is hammering to make a new house, as doves continuing their cooing forever, bees humming and high above that, a brilliant clear sky. The roses are blooming, and I smell the sweetness. Everything desirable is here already in abundance, and the sea. The dark thing is hardly visible in the leaves under the sheen. We sleep easily, so I bring no sad stories to warn the heart. All the flowers are adult this year. The good world gives, and the white doves praise all of it. Um, a dark thing inside the day. Linda Gregg, uh, from A Book of Luminous Things, an international anthology of poetry, edited by Cezal Abinolos, published by uh, Harvest Books in 1998. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet, as well as a link to purchase a copy of this anthology. Um, I try my best to connect it back to the original publisher, um, but occasionally we'll have to use other links um, when necessary. And uh, also more information about other projects and series that I'm currently working on. Please do check those out as well. Um, if you want to support us, it's very simple. Just hit a like button, hit the thumbs up on these videos, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, with the bell icon, and be notified every time there's a new video, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And uh, comment below. Or if you want, you can take these links and share them on social media. Uh, whatever it is that you do to help spread the word. Um, my goal is really simple. I just want to increase the uh, visibility of poetry, especially contemporary poetry in our world, and provide more and more people with opportunities to encounter these wonderful poets and these terrific poems, um, to, to hopefully, amongst all of them, find something that resonates with them and inspires them um, to think, to feel, to write, perhaps, to create something else. Uh, whether it's in response or as a way to just spur them into the creative work itself. Um, I'm grateful that we have technology that allows me to record these videos and share them with you, and that you can connect um, via the internet and be able to have this experience, uh, even though we're separated by distance and time, um, that the encounter of poetry, the encounter with the text can translate and uh, trans form, you know, over the, these great spaces and uh, be accessible to, to all sorts of people. So um, thank you. Thank you for, for those of you who've been around from the beginning and those of you who are joining us um, in these recent weeks. I'm grateful for all of you. Look forward to hearing from you and uh, do wish you all the very best in your own creative journeys in whatever you're working on. Um, so uh, as we wrap up this week and head into the next week, um, all the best to you. And uh, this is me, Neil Aiken, the Hermit Poetry Series, uh, signing off for this week. We're preparing for next week, depending on how you look at these Sunday videos. <laughs> um, and we'll be back again soon with more poetry, more readings. Until then, stay safe and well. Keep reading, keep writing, keep being a part of the world that you're in uh, by connecting to it with your art and with your, with your creativity um, and with your heart. And uh, we'll be back again with more in the very near future, a couple days from now. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks and goodbye.